Okay, this is Raquel and I'm coming to you with this video because I did the henna in my hair that I had posted about um, yesterday. I did um, a hot oil pre-poo with the Jamaican black castor oil and I did that last night maybe around 1 o'clock, well early this morning at 1 o'clock in the morning and I um, put the plastic cap on, I put my hair burning on so it was like a hot oil treatment, it was a pre-poo all in one. I didn't rinse my hair out this morning. I did the um, henna. It's not a lot. I didn't have a lot. I had some saved from, I believe, in January. And the reason why I did my henna is because I was bored. And I was bored with the color that I received from the Garnier Olea hair color system. When I initially did it, I didn't think the color was going to take. It didn't take as I wanted it to when I had rinsed it out. Okay, so then a couple of days later, I had seen like it was a nice, um, it was a nice auburn color at my roots. It had took to my roots really, really well. So I liked that color, but I didn't like that it didn't take all over. So, okay, I, you know, I tried to deal with that, but I'm a product junkie and I also love, love, love my hair. So when I couldn't find, um, myself loving that color anymore and I wasn't interested in it, I decided to try my henna again because now my hair is brighter and I just wanted to see like what's going to happen when I um do this henna and then you know <laughs> my roots are really really bright so I don't know what's going to happen I really think this is dope on here this is I'm on my phone and um you know Google has sent me a um not Google, excuse me, YouTube was like, they wanted your feedback, right? Like, after you watch a video, like, do you mind submitting your feedback? And what are your recommendations? And I was like, it's, it would be really cool if we could record from the YouTube app. Like, it doesn't make sense that you have to record on your camera, but then you have to go through the hassle of, you know, uploading it through your, um, through YouTube instead of just recording directly from the YouTube actual app and it automatically just posts into your YouTube account. So I don't know if I was the only person that suggested it, obviously not, but I'm glad that they did this because this is dope. Like, this is really, really <laughs> So anyway, I'm gonna leave this in. It is um, 9.37 right now, and I'm gonna leave this in until probably like eight o'clock tonight. And then I'm gonna, um, you know, rinse this out in the um, shower, I'm gonna let the you know the warm water run on it first and then i'm not sure what condition i want to follow up with like a moisturizing conditioner so if you catch this video before like tonight and i've already rinsed it out um let me know what conditioner you think would be good like as far as the deep treatment because you know they say to follow up with a moisturizing deep conditioner and i was using my curls um ecstasy here tea deep conditioner but i want to try something different i'm thinking about the shea moisture raw shea butter deep treatment mask or maybe the cantu shea butter deep treatment mask i don't know i have a lot of deep treatment mask and i'm just not sure which one would be the best for the moisture part the curls was okay um i used the um shea moisture raw shea butter restorative conditioner one time as well um i'm just trying something different just wanted to see like if i can get different results um maybe it'll be more moist or i don't know mm -hmm. i'm just asking so anyway i think this app is really really dope i'm going to you know allow this to, i have two caps on i'm gonna allow this to do what it's supposed to do hopefully you know i don't be like fire red but I'm gonna let you guys know I have some henna on my arm. I didn't have no gloves. I wasn't even with like a plastic bag wrapped around one of my hands. I think my other hand is like, can you see like it's a whole nother kind of color? I don't know if you can see it, you probably can. But um, I don't care, I just was having fun. So we're gonna see what happens. And I also just wanted to make this clear. The Garnier Olea system I think really didn't take to my hair really well maybe because i didn't have enough or it could have just been that you know because my hair is a darker color and it's been so long since i've had any kind of um chemicals in it that my hair was just very resistant to it so i don't want to down the hair coloring system because i didn't experience like dryness afterwards it wasn't a stinky product it wasn't um it didn't run all over the place i mean i did a video of me applying it and everything so you see that it wasn't anything wrong with the actual application process or anything like that um, dye, yeah, I did it, and I wouldn't want to do it again. I'm just scared of damaging my hair, and, you know, there's nothing that anyone can probably tell me about a dye not harming my hair. It's going to, that's, you know, it has things in it. So, um, I don't think I'm going to go that route again. I'll stick with my henna, and hopefully, you know, my bright roots will just, maybe they'll stay, you know, because it's a fine 
this is fine area right here and that here was very it was um it took to the color very well so you know maybe i don't know we'll see i'll let you guys know if my hair just happens to fall out in the sink we're gonna have a problem <laughs> Anyway, bye, you guys. If you do know of a deep, um, deep treatment mask or moisturizing conditioner that I should use afterwards, let me know um, for 8 o'clock tonight because I'm going to be rinsing out at 8 o'clock, the latest, and I really want to know. All right, bye.